Time Editor now supports cache playback, allowing animators to work and hit play without needing to play blast. When loading a scene with Time Editor clips, cache playback is no longer automatically disabled. In Maya 2022, animators can also set clips to be additive, allowing them to mix two clips together to layer animation performances seamlessly. So with cache playback support in the Time Editor, there's no need to play blast your complex scenes to get the runtime playback that you're after. You can stay in the flow so you can animate at target frame rate speeds. And with the addition of additive animation clips, you can layer multiple animations together to create your own new unique performances, ultimately reusing your data from your motion capture libraries or animation libraries that you've already made and paid for. So let's jump back into Maya here and take a look at some of the changes we've done to cache playback in regards to the time editor. So I'll turn cache playback on and play back my scene. You can see I'm around 40, 40 frames a second before that cache playback builds up. Once cache playback kicks in and the cache is full, we're now at around 60 frames a second, which also happens to be our target frame rate for the scene. The scene is the motion capture data shot at 60 frames a second. So we're now hitting our target frame rate, which is great. When you have complex scenes, multiple characters in the time editor, you want to be playing back your animation at that target frame rate and really have those final frame quality representations of your characters while you animate and iterate on your scenes performances. So let's play around with these cache playback settings here. Right now we're playing at real time, which is the target frame rate for this actual scene, which again is 60 frames a second. We're gonna change to playback every frame free and really see just how fast cache playback can perform. So as you can see, we're almost near double the frame rate when we go into the free mode uh, over 100 frames a second. So this really just shows the power of cache playback along with the time editor. So some really nice gains here in Maya 2022. So let's take a look at our new additive animation clips in the time editor. We still have our walk cycle here, but what I'm going to do is essentially loop out this walk cycle a few times to match this other clip that we brought in. This clip by itself is a character um, with just upper body motion acting hot. And we want to layer this animation on top of the walk cycle clip. So we're going to set this clip below to additive. And essentially what we get, simple performance of character act acting hot.